So I've treated myself to a new Frontier XD bivvy in a special edition camo. Um, I've not opened it yet. I'm gonna have a, a little setup, see how long it takes. I mean a proper setup, I'm not just gonna just like open it up and be like, that's set up, because that's not, that's not a set up, is it? Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Also treat myself to something else, but I'll show you that in a bit. Let's take a look. All right, here it is. Um, as you can see, it's still boxed up. I'm gonna um, give it a little bash, see what we've got in it. Let's open it up. I think the dog likes it. Um, first impressions. I like the camo on it. Nice size bag. It's um, definitely oversized. Nice little touch on it. instructions on how to set it up but let's be fair if um if you're gonna buy something you've watched plenty of videos on it especially a bivvy so i've never set this up i've never seen anyone set it up i've only seen videos on on youtube and stuff like that so the quickest I've seen it set up was 53 seconds. I'm not going to try and beat that. But, um, so I'm going to start a timer. Start it now. So these bars only fit in one way. They've got um, a little guide on them. A couple of little notches. <coughs> like that. So on here, there's a couple of little grooves just there and they slide into there. So that's a nice little touch. So just like that, easy. Five bars. Five ribs that they call it, I think they call them, ribs. That's some. Let's take this off. Ah, let me take this. So you do the right one, apparently, and the left, and the middle. And apparently that's that set up. Right, so that's the main bivvy set up. I'm gonna put the ground sheet in. The only thing I wish I'd done on this is add a magnetic door. I think if they had a magnetic door, like the Ridge Monkey ones, that would be ideal. Because let's be fair, we've all been in that position where you need to get out your bivvy quick because your rod's going off. And how many times do you struggle getting that zip undone? No, I'm going to be completely honest here. 
stitching doesn't look great on it. Right, so I've not pecked a big bivvy down yet. I'm six foot tall. I can almost stand up in it. I like it, I like it a lot. So what I said about um, the doors, I wish I had magnetic doors. So I didn't realise, but they got crash lips on the on the doors. So if that's done up, like like most people do when they're fishing, if they do the door up, they leave it a little bit loose so they can get to a zip. Now, if you're in there and your rod goes off, you want to get out quick. You don't get much quicker than that. You don't get much quicker than that. I like, I like that touch, that's nice. Right, so I'm not, I'm not going to bother pegging it down because I've got to take it back down in a minute. So I'm going to throw the vapour peak on it so that's like... So, because I'm a guy, I've not read the instruction book. That just ends up on the floor, same as everything. So. Just from watching the videos, let's see how easy this is. So, let's start with the right bar. Click in. Go for the middle. Click in. And then the right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the back first, tension it and then work my way round each side. That's it. Job done. Apart from pegging it down, which I'm not gonna do. That's it, set up. First impressions, I like it. It's very dark inside. Top quality fabric to use, that's for sure. Um, the crash zip on the door, I like that touch. I have not opened the windows yet. Um, but yeah, I didn't notice this, but I've got like, like a stiff something in there. I'm guessing that will stop any rain from coming over the front. And let it run down the side, like like guttering if you like. Um, but yeah, I like it. Um, it's got your rod holder there. Oh, I'm guessing one on the other side. Yep. So the quality of it, I can't find any faults yet. The time to set it up, ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. I've been I've been, I've been taking my time with this. Um, again, it's the first time I've ever set it up. I've never seen one set up. I've seen it on the bank, but I've never seen it set up. But yeah, um, first impressions, I like it. Let's have a little tour. All right, so it's rather dark in here at the minute. But there is tons of room. So much room. So we've got a pocket there. Another pocket just there. Another one there. And one there. And got all these little loops if we want to connect an inner dome, which I don't think I ever will. Um, let me just show you, close the door up and show you how dark it is now. Let me just. Alright. I am struggling to see me as it is. So, there you go, look how dark it is in there. You can't see me at all. This is pitch black. This is brilliant, I like it. Look how easy that door comes off. Absolutely love it. Like I say, I'm nearly si uh, I'm just over six foot tall. I'm nearly still up on it, I like it. Right, next thing is, 
How well does my bed chair fit in here? Let's have a little look. Because I've also got a little product here. That is the Nash Indulgence Wide Boy Emperor. Let's see if that fits. Right, so, um, the door, I've actually unzipped the two sides and rolled it up, and there's some toggles to hold the, the door at the top. I was struggling to work out how the door stayed to one side, but my, my mess has come out. Looked at it and went, oh, look at this. So, it's always handy having a woman to look at things, I guess. Um, I've opened one window on the side, just to let a bit of light in there, so when I've got my bed in there, we can have a look around. So let's see if the bed fits. It's a big bed as well. Right, so. I have the Nash Wide Boy Emperor bed chair. The dimension on it, on it I can't can't remember but it's over two meters long um, it's, it's like a double bed me and, me and the missus both got in it earlier um, it's huge doesn't need a lot of space I think my dog likes it doesn't need a lot of space but enough there's, there's plenty of room in here but for a one man bivvy to get a double bed in there. I'll, I'll say a double bed is. It's a double bed. There's no two ways about it. So, let's have a little tour of the bivvy then. So, I've got one window open at the minute. I've got another one there, another one there, and another one there. But I've also got a window there, and a window there. The only reason I have that window open is just a little bit of light in. Now, this bed chair is massive. There's still plenty of room down here. Plenty of room down this side. I like this. Let's have a little tour around the outside. So, I've not pegged it down yet. So I've not pegged it down, but the colour of it, I like it, it's smooth, beautiful. I um, don't really know what else to say about it, it's, you've got these, these tensioning things just here, so you can pull that even tighter if you need to, which to be fair I don't think it needs it. It's got a nice Nice flat back on it, so it's, look at that. It's almost, almost like a body system. So there's no wasted space. It's quality. And it's in camo, <laughs> what more could you ask for? <coughs> so there's also another feature on here. You can stick a little toggle in there stick a little toggle in there and pull it open and you still get airflow through the bivvy that's nice to touch that it's nice um yeah i don't really know what else to say it's a quality bivvy the only thing that does concern me is the condensation is this vapor peak going to be enough to stop that uh, I've seen I've seen some horrible reviews on the Ridge Monkey ones because that's what I was originally looking at. Again, I was probably being a little bit silly. I was looking at the the Ridge Monkey two man with the extended porch, but that's that's too big for for anything that I want. I mean, this this is ideal. I like it a lot. Um. I think my dog likes it as well. A little, little window for her to look out. She loves it. Oh. Yes. 
This is nice. Hello? Hello? Should you sleep out here tonight? Yeah? Right. Come on. Ugh. Yeah, I think she likes it. Now I guess I've got to pack it away. Also another little thing. This ground sheet. I forgot to mention this. So, let me just do the bed chair up. Um, the ground sheet. I have a little section that comes out. Like so. So, you can put all your dirty boots on there. As you come in, you're not getting dirt all on the inside of your bivvy. You just come in, take your dirty boots off, put them to the side, fold that back down, and voila! Nice clean bivvy floor. There's ample's around here. I like it. A top by. So, my overall review, would I recommend this bivvy? 100%, 100%. Um, however, I've not fished in it yet. I've, it turned up yesterday. I was like, okay, at Christmas, so I wanted to open it. But I wanted to wait till I got the bed chair, and that come, that come today. So, um, yeah. First, first impressions, I like it. I don't, think there's any faults with it I can pick it at the minute price wise is it worth the money it's expensive I paid 879 pounds for this bivvy but for the, the amount of time it takes to set up the quality of it yes it's worth it the bed <laughs> I'll let you know I have a good night's sleep on it but for now I think that's me done. But I've not even pegged this down yet and it's it's nice and tight. So that's it for me. Let me know what you think.